Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 251. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm with Risha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Consider the following statements. Number one, the Charter Act of 1813 allowed the Christian missionaries to spread their religious ideas in India. Number two, the East India Company for the first time acknowledged the state responsibility for promotion of education in India. Which among the above statements are correct? So both of them are correct. The East India Company Act 1813, also known as the Charter Act 1813, was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom which renewed the charter issued to British East India Company and continued the company's rule in India. Who among the following made English the court language replacing Persian language? Correct answer is Lord Bentick. Lieutenant General Lord William Henry Cavendish Bentick, known as Lord William Bentick, was a British soldier in statesman and he served as Governor General of India from 1828 to 1835. Consider the following statements. Number one, the sole purpose of Wood's Dispatch was to promote Western education through English language at rural level. Number two, universities at Calcutta, Bombay and Madras were established under the Woods Dispatch. Which among the following statements are correct? So only two is correct. Um, so when in 1854, uh, Woods did send a dispatch to Lord Delossi, the then Governor General of India, uh, Woods suggested that primary colleges must adopt vernacular languages, high schools must adopt Anglo-vernacular language and on college level, English medium should be for education. So this is what is known as Woods Dispatch. It wasn't for own Western education at rural level. In which year General Committee of Public Instruction was replaced by Council of Education? Correct answer is 1841. A General Committee of Public Instruction was set up in 1823 to look after the development of education in India. In 1841, the General Committee of Public Instruction was abolished and it, in its place a Council of Education was established. Which among the following universities were not set up under Sadler Commission of 1970? Number 1. Patna University 2. Osmania University 3. Aligarh Muslim University Correct answer is all of them were set up under Sadler Commission of 1970. So in 1970, the government appointed the Calcutta University Commission to study and report on the problem of university education. The commission is also known as Sadler Commission after the name of its chairman, Dr. Michael E. Sadler, the vice chancellor of the University of Leeds. Consider the following statements. Number one, Kheda Satyagraha was Gandhiji's first real peasant Satyagraha. Number two, Vallabhai Patel was the gift of the Kheda Satyagraha to the country. Number three, the government issued secret instructions of recovering the revenue from all peasants whether they were able to pay or not. Which among the above statements are correct? So only one and two is correct. Number three is incorrect. Uh, so the government issued instructions to recover the revenues only from those peasants who were able to pay. Consider the following incidences. Number one, foundation of Muslim League. Two, Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Number three, Khilafat movement. Number four, civil disobedience movement. Arrange them in the correct chronological order. So according to which happened first and which happened last. The correct order is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, foundation of Muslim League happened in 1906. Jallianwala Bagh incident happened on 13th April 1919. Khilafat movement was between 1919 and 1924, whereas civil disobedience movement was in 1930. Where were the headquarters of Anushalan Samiti? Correct answer is Kolkata. Anushalan Samiti was a Bengali Indian organization that existed in the first quarter of the 20th century and propounded revolutionary violence as the means for ending British rule in India. The organization arose from a conglomeration of local youth groups and gyms in Bengal in 1902. May 11, 1857 is known for which of the following incidents in Indian history? Correct answer is Indian com combatants captured Delhi from East India Company. So, this is from the revolt of 1857 which began on 10th May 1857 at Meerut, which is otherwise known as the Sepoy Mutiny. It was a mutiny of Sepoys of the British East India Company's army. 
collection of land revenue through zamindars on behalf of the east india company was known as permanent settlement the permanent settlement act also known as the permanent settlement of bengal was an agreement between the east india company and the bengali landlords to fix revenues to be raised from the lands that's all for today's quiz until the next video goodbye